Hello friends, so today in this video I am going to show you how you can create various labels to the variables, how you can give label to the variables and how you can give value to those labels. For example, let us suppose in our data we have we have this variable which is the variable named as growth cluster okay this variable is having the values one or it is having the value two one or two in which this variable is showing the one shows that the firm which is having the growth cluster value one is having high growth and the firm which is having the value as 2 of the growth cluster is of low growth okay so 1 means high growth firms and 2 means low growth firms but sometimes it becomes very much confusing when you get the results for example here you can see if i do tabulate If I do tabulate and in tabulate I am using this variable what it will give the result the result will be value 1 and value 2 1 has a frequency of 2501 and 2 is having the value 3935 but it is not it, it is very much confusing because we sometimes forget what does it mean the value 1 and value 2 means okay and what this growth cluster is okay so now first of all what we will do is we will give a label to it okay and here here also in the results you can see that the growth cluster here it is taking the name of the variable which is not giving any information to us so we, uh, there is a need to create the label for it Okay. and the label will tell us what this growth cluster actually mean so now uh, we will create the label and the command for giving the label is label where and after this you will give the name to give uh, the name of the variable of which you want to create the label okay so I want to uh, create the label for this variable and uh, after this I will write what label you want to give so I will give it as the name as group of companies on high growth and low growth basis okay so this will give the this will give a, a label to my variable and now you can see here this will this will create the label and now if if i again do the same i will if i tabulate it then what you will see here is now instead of this growth cluster variable name it is showing me the label name group of companies on high growth and low growth basis okay but still here you can see here these what what is the meaning of these two values one and two so for this we have to create uh, we have to give values to the label okay so if we want to give the values to the label then how we will give the values to the label
so now we will give the values so for this first of all we will define a very uh, define a variable which uh, will be the name of the values so uh, for this what we will do is we will use the command label define both cluster you can give any name to it i am giving the name growth growth cluster values okay i am giving this name okay you can you can give any name to your values okay so uh, label define growth cluster value and after this i will write one and what is the meaning of this one high growth firms high growth firm and for two i will give name low or you can say non high non high growth firm after this now i have uh, defined growth cluster value as my variable which include the meaning of these two numbers now i will again write label value label value growth cluster the name of this variable label value growth cluster and we will give the values which we have created above that is growth cluster value okay so now here in the beginning i had shown you my data also and the values which were here were one or two but now you can see here that the values have been changed into high growth firm and non high growth firms the high growth firms and non high growth firms okay and if you see here value labels i have given i have assigned values and these values are here high growth firm for one and non high growth firm two okay and if i click here the actual value will be shown here one and for non high growth firms the value will be shown here two okay so this is how you can give values to your label okay and now if we again tabulate this variable then you can see here now it is more clear and you can get more information this is the group of companies on high growth and low growth basis and instead of one here it is writing high growth firms the number of high growth firms is 2501 and non high growth firms are 3935 and there are a total of 6436 firms and the percentage of high growth firm is 38.86% and non high growth firm is 61.14% so now your this table is giving more information so uh, i hope you like my video thanks for stopping by